He told me he invented the photography that takes pictures of water. He told me that too. Do you think that's real? Sisters, you know. Not yet. Yeah. After our dominant. No, we're not. That would look bad. Okay, remember everyone, we all talked about this. Trisha calls people out. I brought this up on the first episode of the Frenemies Reloaded series. When Trisha called out to Ethan, in the beginning of the show, she was like, oh, we already started the show over two or three times already. Whatever she did, she gave a number. Like he started the show and she had to bring up the fact that this wasn't the original starting. This is like a repeat. Oh, but this isn't live though. Okay, right there, Trisha's a joker because she just had to get that out that it isn't live. Even though Ethan kind of made it to me like an off-the-cuff remark, she has this tendency to make sure to catch Ethan in whatever kind of lie or whatever it is. But she had to just say, no, it's not live. Oh. No, it's just okay. Still. Yeah, no, I... Yeah. This is also take two, so I feel very nervous. Like, I feel like I fucked up. Like, this we, is a take two. No, we did an intro already, and now we're doing a second intro because of technical difficulties, and I'm nervous because I feel like I fucked up the first time. You were time, nervous so the first time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to make oh the same God, jokes. I think we, you're we restarting it. I'm not going to make jokes. See, right there, Ethan said, this isn't take two, and it, fact, is a take two because Trisha is now going to let everybody know that this is the second time they're doing the intro. And uh, again, she has to put everybody on blast. So even now we see that they have the ability to edit and redo and do things over again, which of course is obvious, but she has to kind of point that out. And this is the first episode. You cut stuff because you're doing it over. You want it to look fresh, but she wanted the world to know, nope, this is a second take. She was like, nope, this is not the original. This is the second. She calls people out. We see this again with the health insurance policy. She had to call out that Moses didn't have health insurance. And I don't know, it sounded like she was saying, I could be mistaken, okay? But it sounded like she was saying he didn't even have, mm, you know, car, I don't know. I don't know. It just sounded like it. Maybe I'm wrong. So I'm not going to say that's exactly what she was saying, but it sounded like it. That's from Trisha. She needs to clarify herself. That's what I heard. Okay. Mm. It's very close. <laughs> Next question. Uh, this will be for Ethan and Trisha. If, you're, if your guys' house was on fire, what would your spouse grab before leaving, not counting children or pets? What's the uh, one item that... That's the only one that... Okay. <laughs> Ethan and, or that, so that, I, that Ela would grab? Uh, and Moses yeah, would grab. right. Exactly. Mm. Oh, that I would grab? Oh, God. Yes, Moses, what you would grab. Okay, I think I know it. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> I think I know it. Okay. So... Everybody ready? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Wait. Okay. I, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to take. Take a moment. Play the dung, dung, dung. Yeah, it's harder to do this reverse because Moses is with peace and love Moses. It's very, like, basic. So there's, like, you know, he wants, he's very he's simple. He's a basic bitch. He's simple. He doesn't need anything to take. He just let the house burn and take himself. You know what I mean? Like, it's very simple. He's going to grab something, though. He, no. he has a choice. Destroy everything or save one thing. He's going to save something. No. He's going to grab something. He's like, I gotta go. Okay, so write nothing. <laughs> I All saved <laughs> nothing. What a nihilist. <laughs> Let it burn. All right, let's see what you two have. Ethan and Trisha. I wrote reveal. laptop. Laptop uh, and water, water painting. Uh, Ela said <laughs> sketchbooks. I mean, I, I, I was thinking your art. I mean, you know. And yeah, Moses? I thought about laptop too, but. Moses said laptop. What did you write? His painting is, or photos of water. I said paintings. I guess oh. he photographs water. I mean, it's did, yeah. Okay. No, yes, you did. We all got a little wrong. We all got it wrong. Oh, it's all on my laptop, though. Fail. <laughs> Babe, yeah. you're so proud of your photos of water. Why just, would no, you but you're work? right, but they're all on my laptop. Yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> it's digital. <laughs> he told me he invented the photography that takes pictures of water. He told me that, too. Do you think that's real? You all. Trisha is telling us right now. She does not believe that Moses came up with photographing water. It's not that I don't believe it. Trisha's saying she doesn't believe it. You know why I think Trisha doesn't believe it? Because she's asking Ethan's opinion. She's setting Ethan up right now. Now, if I believe something is true because my fiance told me this is what he invented and I believe my fiance because I'd be like, oh, why would you lie about that? I'm not going to go around and ask other people if they think it's true or not. If I do, that means I doubt what he's saying. You got it? So Trisha bringing it up right now, you all know it's because she doubts Moses. 
And now she wants to put Moses on Front Street. And who better to help her is Ethan. Because Ethan has no filter. Ethan is just going to play right into it. <laughs> and it's not that I don't think Moses came up with his invention or whatever. It's that I believe that the people close to him don't think he did. So if the people close to you don't think you came up with it, you think I'm going to think you came up with it. That's all I'm saying. Take it up with Trisha, Ella, and Ethan Moses if you have a problem with it. I don't care what mag is. Okay, am I ahead of myself? Let's watch. I, he seems to have a proprietary technique. I, I've never seen it. Yes, I'm the only one. Anywhere else. He's in you see how Ethan answer it and Moses, you barely heard Moses' whole episode, right? Remember I said you barely heard Moses, you barely see Moses. Moses was not going to let Ethan answer for him right now because already Ethan wasn't saying what Moses wanted him to say. Moses had to cut right in. Ethan said he hasn't seen it anywhere else, but Moses says, yes, I'm the only one. Moses is telling us, y'all, he's the only one that came up with this. Or, I mean, I, I don't think he invented the concept of photographing water, but I... Okay. I mean, of course. Moses isn't the first person that thought of, let me take pictures of water, right? We can all agree with that. I, I'm assuming Moses would agree with that. Okay, Ethan, what else? I've never seen no, photographs No, he did. Like That's what that. he said. No, no, I did. <laughs> guys i don't know how i listened to this before and it's like i always hear something new i'm here thinking there's no way moses thinks that he actually came up with taking a picture of what is even moses what are you doing right now trisha cut in and moses cut in because that's what trisha's saying no this is not true trisha has to say no i know this man didn't come up with the idea of taking a picture of water and she's just saying no this guy this is what he thinks and moses is saying yeah ethan i came up with this this is my idea <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking whenever the camera was invented, don't you think people just started taking pictures of everything? Like, okay, portraits and stuff, but once you, you figured out you could take pictures of anything. <laughs> you're, you're telling me Moses. Like 2000 plus AD, all these years passed since the invention of the camera and you were the first to start saying, I'm, I'm the one who invented taking pictures of water. He's I the did. only one that's Oh, you're the, f oh, well. <laughs> It is like tongue tied, like yo, this, this yo, this dude is serious. <laughs> the thing I like about Ethan, I wanted to do this whole thing about Ethan and why people don't like Ethan. People don't like Ethan because he tells the truth. Okay, I did say this before. I know some of you have been following me, heard this that I say that people don't like to hear the truth. And so the thing why people don't like Ethan is Ethan says the truth. It'd be one thing if Ethan is lying on you and you don't like Ethan because he's lying on you. But that's never it. Ethan is always saying the truth. Ethan talks about the wrong that these people are doing and they don't like him. Instead of saying, yeah, you know what? Ethan's calling me out, but it's because I'm doing something wrong. Let me change my ways. It's never that. It's never that. It's always, they don't like Ethan. But show me where Ethan is lying on you on purpose. He doesn't like Logan Paul because of the dink doink nonsense that Logan Paul is doing. Because Ethan feels that Logan is scamming his fans. Why Logan? Why are you mad? Because Ethan is calling you out. Because you know he's right. Ethan doesn't like James Charles. Because one, James Charles, he thinks stole his idea for um, the Teddy Fresh shirt. And two, because of what James is doing. And James admitted to contacting underage boys via Snapchat. He admitted it. Ethan calls it out that it's wrong. James doesn't like Ethan. David Dobrik. Ethan was calling out David and the Seth situation and the Big Nick situation even before he knew about the Jeff Wittick situation. David, well, not publicly, but let's say David doesn't like Ethan. David hasn't said anything about Ethan, but you, you get what I'm saying. Ethan is calling out people doing the wrong thing and they don't like that. So again, that's what I like about Ethan. He tells the truth, but guess what? People don't like when you tell the truth. So right now, Ethan is stumbling over his words <laughs> because this is his brother-in-law. But... You tell me, is Ethan going to hold back and bite his tongue? Or is he going to dig in further? Let's see. Because I don't even remember, y'all. Let's see what happens. Well, I mean, I'm not a historian. What do I know? <laughs> Ethan said I'm not a historian. <laughs> I love it.
You know why? Because Ethan is sitting there like, listen, I didn't do the research on my own. Therefore, I'm not going to confirm you, Moses. I'm not going to say, yes, you did. I already think it's funny for someone to even say they take pictures of water, but I'm not about to go do the research. So I'd rather just leave it at that. Now, do you think Moses is going to be happy about that or mad about it? Let's see. <laughs> I'll take him at his word. Y'all, Ethan just wants to keep the peace. That's his brother-in-law. He wants to keep the peace. What am I going to say now? Ethan is saying, listen, I don't know if it's true. I'm not a historian, so don't even take my word for it. But that's my brother-in-law, and I'm going to trust that he's not lying to me. But guess what? If it turns out I'm wrong, it's because my brother-in-law just lied to me. He just lied to my face. That's what Ethan is doing right now. Anyways, I All take right. him as word. I've never Trisha says, I take him at his word too. No, you don't, Trisha. You brought it up in front of everybody. You brought it up in front of the whole Frenemies community. You didn't bring it up because you thought it was true. You brought it up asking Ethan if it was true. <laughs> don't throw a rock and hide your hands, Trisha. You started it. Everything that just happened, you started it. You started it with the car insurance. You started it with the cooking. And now you're starting it with this. This is all on you, Trisha. I've never seen photographs like the one he takes, but I don't, I don't, that's a big claim to say you invented <laughs> yeah, photographs. A you guys see what I'm saying with Ethan? Ethan could have just shut his mouth. Like, I believe him, you know, I take him at his word, but Ethan couldn't help himself. That's what I'm saying. He even said, I haven't seen pictures like the one he's done. Ethan, you know what? I was bored one Saturday afternoon and um, I decided to recreate Moses' water pictures. Yeah, that took me all of 15 minutes, Ethan. Now you don't have to say you've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> Moses is cheesed right now. <laughs> Moces is mad. <laughs> Why y'all think I'm anonymous? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's a big water. invention, too. <laughs> y'all remember the scream crab, right? Ethan goes, that's a very big claim to make. And Moses says, yeah, it's a big invention. And then he gave that face. That's the one face I screenshot. Remember, y'all? Y'all, I'm speechless. See, this is the whole thing where I say that Moses doesn't like Ethan and all of this stuff. It's like Moses says there's only two emotions, love and hate. So... Obviously, if I'm going to choose an emotion to give to Moses right now, I wouldn't give the emotion of hate. I would still say that Moses still loves Ethan, right? I'm not going to say it's hate if I had to pick between the two. Because I know there's, first of all, not two emotions, first of all. And I know there's like nuance to it. You're not one thing or the other. But Moses right now is seething. You think Moses was mad about the cooking stuff, the not having insurance and stuff? He put on a biggest fake smile for that stuff. But here, he couldn't even muster that fake smile because he's trapped in his own philosophy. Either it's love or hate, you know. And this is my brother-in-law and I love him, but listen, Moses, you can love him and be mad at him at the same time. It's not one or the other. The reason why you're mad at Ethan is because you love Ethan. Someone closest to you saying they hate something you did or they don't believe you <laughs> in what you're saying, it's going to affect you more than a stranger. Because Moses will sit up and tell you how he doesn't care what people say on the internet about him. You know, he deletes comments that aren't positive. He, did, 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 did. he doesn't care. But when it comes from your family member, right? When it comes from your family member, you're going to care, Moses. Because you can't delete. Even though you tried, you can't delete Ethan out of your life. You can't delete Ela out of your life. I know you're trying right now. Y'all, let's see what happens next. Mm, <sighs> Yo, this is tension, right? If you don't know what's going on right now, it's, it's tension. It's tension. Look at Trisha. Trisha knows what she's doing, okay? Ethan. 
Ethan doesn't know. Look at Ethan. Ethan's just there erasing his board. <laughs> Ethan. Pay attention to what's going on, Ethan. He's like, doo, 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 doo. let me erase my board, getting ready for the next question. You're lucky that Moses. <laughs> Never mind. I have to stop what I was about to say. Ethan, you need to look around you and sense when there's danger. Oh, yeah, you know what? Right, Moses is not in the same room. Okay. Trisha knows. Trisha knows if Moses is going to attack, it's not going to be her. <laughs> Trisha knows she's in the clear. <laughs> Guys, remember, Trisha's the one who brought this up. Are you, um, do you have a patent? <sighs> That's what I'm saying. Ela coming with the one-two punch. <laughs> Moses thought it was over. Moses thought it was over. He was letting the dust settle. And then Ela came along and kicked up more dust. <laughs> kicked up more dust <laughs> sorry i'm looking at ethan's face now <laughs> ethan i thought you were racing your board ethan go back to racing your board okay <laughs> he's like say what <laughs> sorry i hope everybody's laughing as much as i am I'm hot, okay? <laughs> I'm wearing a sweater. I'm thinking of my sweater. Okay. <laughs> Ethan kills it, I'm telling you. Shark Tank question. <laughs> so uh, Ethan's uh, equating it to uh, what Shark Tank. He goes, Shark Tank question. <laughs> Ethan's funny, you guys. I, uh, Ethan makes me laugh. Oh, okay. Moses has a fake smile now. Let's see what he's going to say. Pendant. <laughs> Shark Tank. Yeah. Okay. So he says, you know, the patent pendant. I always remember that scene. Remember Simpsons? And as you can see, the unique dents in my invention perfectly match the contours of the human vertebrains. Mm. Patent pending, patent pending, patent pending. And like they're like patent pending, patent pending. <laughs> so that like makes me laugh. So when Moses said that, that's what I was thinking of. That episode of The Simpsons. Okay, see, see, this is what I'm saying. This is the pylon of Moses. Everybody's piling on Moses right now. So you see, Trisha did the setup, right? If you guys saw my um, David Dobrik breakdown with Jason Nash, and I said, Jason Nash is just doing like a layup for David. But everybody was in on it. But this is a natural one. This is happening in real time. It wasn't set up ahead of time. These people naturally teamed up against Moses. <laughs> this is all natural. There was no planning ahead of time. Trisha set it up. Ethan jumped up as if he was going to make the basketball shot, but then he shot the ball over to Ela, and then Ela went with the swoosh. <laughs> and then you think it was over? Like Moses thought he had the ball. Then you see now Trisha come back and like swipe the ball back from Moses. <laughs> Y'all don't even watch basketball. I don't even know what I'm saying. Let's see if Trisha's going to sink this shot. Do you have a patent on it? You know, they're all joking around about patent. Listen up, y'all. And Trisha asks, do you have a patent? It was on Wired Magazine. What does that have to do with a patent, Moses? What does that have to do with a patent? You're in a magazine. Okay. How does that answer Trisha's question? The answer is no, Trisha, I don't have a patent. He's saying he was in Wired Magazine. Like, what does Wired Magazine have to do with anything? It's like saying People Magazine said I'm the most beautiful person in the world, so then that makes it true. Remember the sexiest man alive? Yeah, so that means it's true. At least everyone knows People's Magazine. I don't know Wired. Who here has bought a Wired Magazine? That's what I want to know. <laughs> He's telling me it's in Wired. No, you guys, I know Wired Magazine. I'm just saying. Wired Magazine is there to just interview you. They're not going to go do, start doing research papers on if what you said is real or not. You think they care that much about you, Moses? Were you on the cover of Wired? If you're on the cover of Wired, maybe then they would have researched everything that came out of your mouth. But if you were like in one little blurb, there's not enough lines for them to research whatever you're saying. I mean, I'm the only person doing this. But Moses is going to tell us, I'm the only person doing this. And we all now have to believe him. 
Do y'all believe him? Because I have a theory. Are you patented? Um, no, because when you patent, oh. it's just a matter of putting the money into it. But no. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Did you hear what he said before this? Okay, he goes, no, because when you patent, he stopped that sentence. I think there's a reason why he stopped that sentence, because I think that sentence was going to go a different way, and he stopped himself. And then he said this, as if this is better than what he was going to say. So this is what he says. It's just a matter of putting the money into it. Now, Ethan said that Moses is successful. We know that Moses, at this point, bought a house. He buys Trisha jewelry. He bought her this big engagement ring. Didn't he have like a fancy car at this point too? He had like a Ferrari. Did he say that he bought it or did Trisha say she bought it for him? I don't know. But he's going around like he has money. And then we see in the same breath, he has no health insurance. And we're iffy about if he has car insurance <laughs> before Trisha. And now you're telling me on top of all of that, you don't have a patent because you don't want to put the money into it. What's stopping you, Moses, at 40 plus years old, coming out with an idea that you're already in Wired Magazine for? Why can't you just get a patent? You're saying it's a matter of money, but you don't want to put the money in it. Why not? I have an idea. Why not? <laughs> mm, not patented. Uh, mm. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> Someone's coming for the brand after this. <laughs> they can try. Trisha says someone's coming for the brand. They can try. Yeah, yeah. And when they try, what are you going to do about it, Moses? You have no patent for it. He's going to bring up Wired Magazine. Like, I know, like, once you have an idea, right, and it's your idea, you don't have to copyright or patent it or whatever. You know what I mean? But it just, it's easier if you have a patent or you have a copyright to just prove it's you. That's the only thing. It's easier. But if you indeed came out with the idea before whatever other person and you can prove that you did come up with the idea without having copyright or without having a patent you can do it it just is more hassle It'll take you longer especially if this person brings it to court it's a whole other thing here's why i don't think moses has a patent i think the reason why he doesn't have a patent is because when you get a patent you have to say what your patent is because I noticed in that Wired magazine article, in all these little papers and interviews that he does, he doesn't say how he takes his picture. He just gives very vague ideas on how he takes his pictures. But it's so vague, you wouldn't be able to copy what he's doing. If that's the reason why he didn't patent it, he could say, I'm the only one that's photographed water in this unique way. And it's so unique, no one has has ever done it, and I'd rather this way of taking pictures die with me than to have it patent and have anybody be able to see what I'm doing and maybe copy it and just change a little details so that they can say it's different from what I'm doing and sell it. I just want to be the only person that does it. But again, Moses didn't say that. He just said, oh, money. So this is what I believe. Hey, this is not true, okay? This is just my belief. I can be completely wrong. Sometimes when I say stuff, people think that I'm saying it like it's true. No, I'm saying what I believe. So if I believe something, yeah, I'm thinking it's true because I believe it, but I'm not saying it is true. I'm just showing you guys what I believe. And Moses can come online tomorrow and say, no, it's not true. And I'll just be like, okay, listen to Moses. Moses would know himself better than I can know him. This is what I think. Because I'm in line with Trisha that doesn't believe him, Ethan that doesn't believe him, and Ela that doesn't believe him. I think that he does it in whatever way he does it, and it's not even a little bit difficult in what he's doing. He just found something, a way to photograph water, but it's not that difficult. But he's hyping it up and making it seem more difficult than it is. And he doesn't want him patent it because if he patents it, you'll see what he's doing. And then you realize he's not really taking pictures of water or not in the way he's making people believe he's taking the pictures. Because I'm sure Ethan might have just walked in unexpectedly in that water museum and saw dye everywhere. And then he thought Moses was tie dyeing shirts. But his Batman mind went home and thought about it and realized what was really going on in that shop. But y'all, this is just my opinion. It doesn't mean it's true. I love you. <laughs> he never talks about that stuff with me because I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I'm like, okay. But I'm proud of you. Stop it, Trisha. Stop it. Stop trying to cover for yourself. <laughs> you brought this whole thing up. You brought this whole thing up. And like, oh, I, I don't understand. You knew enough to know that what Moses was saying wasn't true. 
Moses, you think you're hiding what you're doing from Trisha? Trisha walked through your museum and she saw the dyes all over the place and she already summed you up right then and there. Don't think you're hiding anything from Trisha. That's why she brought it up. Trisha don't believe you because she know what you're doing is not true. My opinion, y'all, my opinion. I am proud of you. Just <laughs> I did, yeah, yeah. I'm there. I'm right there with you. <laughs> no, I am. I think it's yeah. cool. No, it's.